Good evening, everyone. Oh, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, my name is Ryan McAdams. I have the great fortune of being the conductor for the Wordless Music Orchestra tonight. I just want to thank you all so much for coming out to this beautiful and special event. I just want to take a second to acknowledge the hard work of KCRW, of Apple Original Films, and of Wordless Music for um, bringing this event into being tonight. I also want to say that there are a few people here in the audience who have been so instrumental behind the scenes for this film. Producers Kara Speller and Hannah Mingella. Also, director Peter Bainton. And now for our very special guests tonight, please help me welcome to the stage composer Isabel Wallerbridge and author and director Charlie Maxey. Thanks, Ryan. Hello. How are you? Are you okay? Thank you for coming. And I, I, I went outside and saw the length of the queue. So thank you for enduring that. Um, I am here slightly jet lagged, um, but loving this whole thing. And, and this is my wonderful friend, Isabel, or Izzo, well, a bridge, who, um, who is the composer. Yeah, she wrote the music. The music. And she, about four years ago now, maybe three and a half, was it? No, not quite, maybe it was four. Yeah, some blurs, some oh, blurs into nothing. She approached me on, on Zoom, I hadn't met her before, and said, Charlie, I have your book. Um, would you like to do a stage performance with me? And I'll play the music and you can draw. And I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the pandemic hit us and we didn't do it. And it's odd now, because she and I are standing here, finding ourselves in a... Finally. Um, but there's a film added and a phenomenal orchestra and Ryan, um, whose middle name is... Balakowski. Balakowski. I didn't know that. Um, but he is wonderful. And I watched this on Zoom last night in rehearsal in when I was in the bath. And I'm just in awe of this orchestra. And I'm in awe of you for coming. And I'm in awe of everyone who played a part in making this film. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, and I hope um, you uh, stick around afterwards maybe and have a chat with us if you feel like it. Um, so I'm sure you have lots of other things to say. Don't you? <laughs> Absolutely nothing to add to that except for thank you so much you for being here and we're so thrilled to be here. And um, There is a little detail about the score that I think you might, I don't know, I really enjoy it every time I think about it. Charlie, not, Charlie no, don't go anywhere because <laughs> it involves you. But really at the beginning of the process, when I just started writing and Charlie and I were having lots of, lots of conversations about the sound of the film and the, what the score should really be sort of doing, I picked up my phone one afternoon and there was a voice note that has turned out to be the most precious voice note <laughs> I've ever received because it was a tune that Charlie was humming and the tune became the main theme of the film. And so um, we do have the tune. Should we with, play it? Do you want to hear it? Do you hear it? Okay, this is, is, can I just say, you know, I've never worked with a composer before, but this one is one of the humblest, most wonderful souls who worked with all of us. And I regularly threw badly sung tunes to her, usually from the bath. <laughs> and and she, would, she would take the, the hum tune. And then two days later, or 24 hours later, would return a file that, that was in full orchestra that had basically, like some kind of alchemy, had produced something beautiful out of my grunting sounds. But this was a tune I sang, and we found it in me. Are you sure you want to hear yeah. this? I love hearing this. I do you actually? You promise? Yeah, definitely. Really? Okay, here it is. This was in 2000, 2000? 2021? Something like that. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, sorry. <laughs> 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 so you'll hear that in the music in the film. 
And then Izzo returned it two days later with, with this beautiful sound. So thank you, Izzo. We're totally indebted to you. Your music makes me cry regularly in a good way. And um, thank you. And I really hope you enjoy this. And thank you so much, Ryan. And um, clearly, Jet Lag has made me talk too much. Thank you, Izzo. <laughs> Thank you both so much. Just before we get started, I want to say, um, at the end of the show, after the credits, after what I'm sure will be tumultuous applause, um, please, after we acknowledge uh, Charlie and Isabel, stay in your seats. We've got about three or four minutes of a little encore of 20th century, 21st century multimedia magic for you. So, stay tuned.